Hello and welcome to a glance in the class. Hopefully this goes well today. This is our first time doing uh, impromptu like with math. Give us the numbers, Lord. Be a calculator. Um, this is the first time I'm really giving the kids calculators in class. How about that? You know, normally elementary, uh, first time they pull calculators on us, I forget what grade it was. If it was first or third grade, but there was those blue calculators and they had the covers over the top and everybody got issued one and you have to turn it back in. Well, this is the first time I'm actually giving out, giving out calculators in the class. This is our business topic, and today we are going to go over finances and some budgets. They're going to learn some terms and figure out the solution in the end. Work with you guys. Okay, so I was able to find a mock or a what is considered to be a pay stub of today. And I copied the image and I copied it onto you all's classrooms. So you all can look over it so you can see what it looks like. A lot of times, nowadays, things have gone so paperless because everybody wants to be electronic. You can ask um, for pay stub. A lot of times they can print it off for you more than likely, but a lot of times, you just go on the uh, portal, your employee, employee portal, on the computer at the job, and you can look at your pay stub through the computer in your manager's office. And that's how they do it nowadays. Usually, back in the day, they would hand you a check, you would see your check would be connected to, to your pay stub, and then your pay stub, it would show all your information. These are some of the things that you will find on, and again, you'll get to see this once you pull up the image, on your pay stub, you'll see your name. You'll see, well, you'll see the business name that uh, and their address and their identification number of some sort. Um, it'll show your pay stub number. On this stub here, it shows your employee information. It'll show your name with your address on there, and it'll show your social security number. It'll show your pay schedule, whether you're paid by the month. By, uh, or bi-weekly, or bi-weekly. You know, there's weekly and there's bi-weekly. What, anybody know what bi-weekly is? What that term? Mm -hmm. Bi-weekly is like Not this. the full week? No. No, it's not. Oh. What does that mean? <clears throat> this term. Uh, No, don't. I mean, you could just like, that's like up there with the terms. Bi weekly. Oh, okay. okay. If you want to, you know, write it down. Is what? Nice. Hmm? Like Getting paid two times a week. Yeah. Oh. You have weekly, and you have bi weekly. Okay. So it's going to look like that two times a week. <laughs> Uh, when I worked my first job, or I might not go feel like looking for it. Um, I got paid every two weeks when I worked at Arby's, and then everywhere since then, I, they started paying people every what week. Is that? Somewhat, what three this? Three next to two, huh? Three next to five weeks. Two. It's a percentage. It's a percentage. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah, six point two percent. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, it'll show your pay period time, meaning from what date you started working in that week to the, to the end of the pay period week. So on here it's showing February 19th, 2020 to February 25th. How many days is that? 19 through the 25th. How many days is that? 19 through the 25th. Six days? Okay. That's true. Six days. You have to be able to. You have to be able to look at your paycheck stuff and understand what it's saying. Because you don't want to get juke. Everybody say I don't play about my money. 
make it legible. Okay, tax deduction. This is just what it looks like, okay? You have federal withholding. <clears throat> Read the rest of it off to me, somebody. I'm probably like, keep going back and forth. Makai, read this. Read that all right. that. Yeah. Okay. We have federal social security. I don't know what it is. Um, Hold on, what's the next one? Social security. FICA. Say FICA. FICA, social security. CA. Hold on. Okay, next. Next. Um, there's FICA Medicare. Mm hmm Okay. Um, state oh, withholding. Okay. Mm hmm What does it say? State. State withholding. Be clear. Employer tax. <laughs>
federal income tax. Okay. I mean, is that all the explanation they give me? <laughs> From... Okay, it says the amount of income tax your employer withholds from your regular pay depends on two things. The amount you earn and the information you give your employer on your W-4. So, when you guys go to work, you have to fill out a form called, well, I thought it was a W-2. Well, let's say W-4. This and that for W-2 as well. I think that's the probably your tax return form that you get. So a W-4, whatever it's called, well, you have to fill out whether you are a dependent, meaning you live with your parents, so therefore you may not get a tax return. Um, you have to fill out whether you file like exempt, and that will say like you, they won't take money out of your uh, check for for uh, that year, and you may have to pay somebody back. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at look up that term. Filing exempt. What does that mean? E M P C. We're going to look up that term. Um, you'll have to tell them just per the information, like where your address and your social security number. And what that does is helps the government know, like, again, how much work tax to take from you. A lot of times, uh, if you don't do it right, you will have to owe the government. If you do it right, you may leave without owing anything, or uh, you may get a return back. And a lot of times, the only time you get a return back is, say, if you own a business and you're able to write off certain things from your business and get a, um, what do they call that? Not an allowance, but you'll get some money back uh, versus having to pay. Um, if you have children, you can get money back from the child tax credit, um, but you have to make within so much money. $10,000, I believe, in that year to even qualify for that child tax credit. So, um, yeah, they change the rules a lot of times on these tax forms or the tax year. You have to go and look at certain things. You have to make yourself familiar with taxes so that you uh, won't overpay, you won't get scammed or all kinds of other things. Uh, or you can learn how to keep your money. You have to make yourself familiar with taxes. So that was federal withholding. FICA. Anybody? Y'all know what that is, right? I've heard of it. FICA is, I think we wrote it up here, the Federal Insurance Contribution Act. And it, uh, and it is it is deducted from each paycheck. Your nine-digit number helps. Social Security which your nine digit number is your social security number, helps the social security administration department record your covered wages <clears throat> or self-employment. So, you have to tell FICA whether you work for someone's company or whether you work for yourself. In order to work for yourself, you have to have a business license, an LLC, PIN number, all of those certain things. As you work and pay FICA taxes, you will earn credits for Social Security benefits. How much is coming out of my check? 6.2%. That's what that is. So, when they take out FICA and it says Social Security, it's showing you the amount that you're, at, that you're getting credit for. So, when you become elderly and you can't work anymore, you, you, you retire, that money then gets paid to you in Social Security if they don't mess it up, you know. In the government. Can we write that down as no. uh, Yeah, right. Yeah. So this is our term, and that is a term. Filing exempt. Right? Are you keeping up? Yes. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to take this off my screen.
future. Okay. What is next? State withholding. Your state will take money out of your check. Sometimes you can, like I said, earn that back. Okay, so what I would do was I would put an extra $20 into the tax. So, therefore, I would not owe money. I have to learn to do that because I don't think I've made the $10,000. So, I didn't want to have to pay anything back. So, I would put a little extra into that tax when I filled out my forms. I don't know how to do that. Um, so that I wouldn't owe anything, and sometimes I would get a return back. That's what it's called, a return. Tax return. Uh, and one thing I want to talk about, we will talk about in the future, is uh, tax time. A lot of people have bad habits during tax season where they know they've made so much money, they know they're going to get a, um, an allowance back or whatever it's called, a tax return back, and they make plans for that money before they get it. It is not good to do that. Get around people who know the value of money. If you're around people that's all the time out spending, 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 you're going to have those bad habits as well. You don't want to always assign things to your money as soon as you get it. Because you know you're going to get a, a chunk of money at one time. Thousands of dollars at one time. Oh, I'm going to get a new car. Oh, I'm going to get a TV. What you need another TV for? You already got four or five in your house. So, you have to learn to be responsible with your money. Put that money up for a rainy day. You never know, like every year, if you're able to put money up, how much that will benefit you and help you. You might want to take a special trip or a vacation one day. Or you might have repairs for your vehicle that you already have. Or repairs for your uh, house or something like that or where you live. Um, and you want to be able to have that money on hand versus going and wasting that money on something crazy and then not having it when you need it. But we'll talk about that later on. Okay, this is called F-U-T-A. It's called Federal Unemployment Tax Act. <sighs> okay, what this is talking about is with state unemployment systems, uh, provides for payments of unemployment compensation to workers who have lost their jobs. Most employers pay both a federal and a state unemployment tax. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. So they take money from us prematurely? <laughs> Did y'all understand what I was saying? Yeah. What did it say? Excuse <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> I think you understand what it means? <laughs> the federal employment thing? Uh huh. Is it taking money from you before you get the job? No. It provides payment of unemployment oh. comp compensation to workers who have lost their job. Okay, say you lose a job, right? Oh. You get fired. That is qualification for you to go to the unemployment office and collect unemployment money for a certain amount of time every two weeks or however their payment schedule works. So I guess we're paying into this tax in case we ever have to use it and I didn't know that. Um, so that's something good to know. They're prematurely taking money because I've never lost a job or been fired or anything like that. So in case you need to collect money because you're at home and you're, trying, you're in the midst of trying to find another job, if that uh, employer fires you, you can collect unemployment, and you're paying into that every time you. And that amount is twenty four eighty. So, okay, let's look at what SUTA means. S U T A. SUTA tax. The 
The state unemployment tax, known as SUTA, is a payroll tax employers are required to pay on behalf of their employees to their state. That was worded nicely. It says again, taxes under state unemployment tax are those designed to finance the cost of state unemployment insurance benefit in the United States. So they're paying an insurance on unemployment. Okay, the employers, that job, that company is paying this tax. <coughs> We're paying it apparently $44.50 worth. Hey, that's some junk. Who pays it? The tax people get paid. S-U-T-A. Let's put this up there. It's another unemployment tax. It's an insurance. Okay, so getting out of the, that whole thing. Do you? Okay, so tell me how much more, how much money you have after all this is taken out. That? Yes. So Four hundred like, minus all of this. Four hundred. How much are we left with? Nine hundred. Okay. So. So this is called before. Tax amount, right? Which is called you have your net pay and you have your gross pay. Okay. Oh, Lord, where's my four fit that first time. Mm -hmm. He was like, okay. well, excuse me. Back in my day, oh Lord, um, pay was around anywhere from four to six starting. 
Nice. And God really was in my situation when I went to go get my first job. First thing, I didn't have to do an interview. I didn't want to do it anyway. Uh, second, after I got the job, he was walking around. Oh, you can start today. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, well, we need to talk about pay. He was like, well, how much do you want? And I was like, oh, you going to ask me that? <laughs> like, I'm black. You ask me that. Oh, wow. And I, I could have went crazy. But I said, six. Fifty. He was like, oh, okay. I, I ended up getting raises because I worked there for a few years. Ow. Is it everybody done with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Yeah. So John Smith is left with two hundred seventy-nine dollars seven and seventy-five cents to play with, or to take care of business. Go James. Depends on how old he is, you know. See, again, when I was 16, my mom allowed me to open the checking account, savings account, and I was pretty responsible with it. And then on top of that, I was paying tithes. So I really didn't have struggles with money or how much money I had. I had lots of money in the bank at that time. So I did something crazy. Yes. I am turning 16 next year. Do you trust me? Well, no. it's not me. <laughs> you have to ask. You have a whole yeah. head of the household here. <laughs> yeah. Are y'all done? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you what if you're before the time is That's enough to make me lay down in the fetal position to cry $200. Wait a minute. For $400. Before tax gross? Yes. Before tax means gross. Your gross amount, the whole amount that you made. After tax is your net, which is how much you get paid after they take out all those taxes. After tax. So what I was going to have you guys do is just like that. We're going to do a little mock situation where you you see how much you get paid at Walmart. Yeah. You get paid fourteen dollars fifty cents. You get part time hours. Anybody know what part time hours are? Yeah. yeah. Well, you only work a certain amount of time each for nine number wise, weeks. yes. Number wise, so like five days a week, maybe. maybe. Uh, and you probably work like what seven, six, seven, eight, nine hours. Mm, maybe really. seven, maybe six. You might get five hours. You work six a time. A part time. Part time is anywhere from part time job. Okay. Full time. Twenty to thirty <clears throat> hours. Full time is where you work throughout the entire week. Okay. For the entire day. Part time is anywhere from <laughs> fifteen twenty to thirty hours. I'm done okay. with that. Um, okay. So you get paid. You 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 get. Uh, Part-time hours of 30. <laughs> of 30 hours per week. You gotta love how the government can hold our money. Okay. I want you to tell me how much do you make before taxes? Come on. Get your calculators out. What? Or get your math out and, and, oh, and, and work it out. It? What? What'd you say? So 30 hours a week, I did 14.50, and you get 30 hours a week. Okay. So how? So what do we? How do we solve that how again? How many hours do you work in a day? You know that part don't matter. Because oh. it can vary anywhere from a long day to a short day. Do I have to add the fish? Are you adding this or multiplying? I'm multiplying. Okay. You always need to know when it comes to figuring out how much money you're making times your hours that you work, you always multiply. I should never have to ever tell you this again in life. You understand me? Yes. So 14, yes. 50 times 30. Hurry up, please. Um, so you multiply it up and you tell me how much you make before taxes. See who gets it right. Hold on. Whoever has a calculator, don't say it out loud because I didn't want to talk to Yeah, it's calculated. What time I said we out of here? About two.
and it is 119. We're doing really good. We're almost done. Does it say it's really well. Yes, that is correct. Yay. Yes. 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 Sometimes you don't have calculator. When you work, you want to say what? I use my grandma. I don't. I don't uh, play, about play about my money. I don't hear you. I don't, I don't play, play about, about my money. money. Because you want no. to know. Yes. <laughs> I was back before you. You want I to know. I before I put that in there. How much you are getting paid to the sit. Another tip to the wise. If your job doesn't provide you with an electronic way to know how many hours you work, and some of them do not. Like Dollar General back there, I would clock in, I would get my time receipt. If you don't keep up with those time receipts, guess what they can do? They can mark you tardy for the day. They can cheat you out of your money and say they paid you off for all your hours and, and lie about it. If you don't keep up with your time, write it down, take a picture of record it, whatever you have to do, keep it logged in your phone. They can cheat you out of your money. You need to know uh, tips and tricks about your job. Like say if you have multiple tips and tricks about your job. Say if you have multiple sister stores. Say you have different locations, stores in different locations. And they send you to another location. You need to know that you can go in that manager's office and log in your mileage and get paid for driving to another store because you don't belong to that store. And they can give you perks in that form of getting paid by the mileage. Good job. Good job to my all you. Uh, math you use the worker outers no, that I, I use a calculator. Out. Good job. Don't come for her. Yay. At least she's using it. I did it. No, I, I counted it out. Before. Good job. I, I appreciate it. Y'all doing a good well, job. Well, that hard, but like, I'm just... You guys are doing excellent. Excellent day. Okay. You make $435 yeah. per week. Good job. Wait. Really? I just tell me she was late. She did. She said she was using the restroom. All right, I'll go after. Okay. So we're going to do some taking out of this money. We're going to do some deducting. Okay. Your taxes say you have to pay forty-four, fifty, twenty-four, eighty, five, eighty. I think I wrote down the same numbers that I've seen on the. The paychecks done and yeah. How much? Oh, in this future and tutor <laughs> suture. <laughs> 2480 and 4450. How much do you have after taxes? So it's just 435 minus all the Yes. How much are you gonna be left with? What? How much you going to be left with after tax? What, with the 435? Take this and subtract all of that. You guys are doing wonderful. Oh, year to date. 
those ended up being four. I don't know how that's going to look suspicious about how they did the math for that. So this minus, 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 say this, minus this, minus that, minus that. Just keep pressing the minus button. Okay. You don't have to add the back part, do you? You don't have to do that by, you know, mental. You can do it on the calculator if you like. Were you doing that mentally? Mental math. You're working it out. That's a lot. And when you, mm -mm. You can use your phone and be like, mm -mm, calculator. Yes, that's a good, that's a good uh, attempt, though. That's a lot. You got to add the back <clears throat> change. What? The change to the back. You put this and then put, yeah, put the change. 44.50 minus 24.80 minus 5.80. You have to put the whole amount. Well. Good time, guys. We're gonna to have to move on without the two. But it's adding a dollar. No. Anybody have an answer yet? Oh, I'm about to say, I was about to move on without you. You might uh, get the calculator. You wanna subtract that up and see how much you're uh, left with after taxes. Anybody have an answer for me? I'm almost there. Come on, because I want to get this check written out. I have another scenario for you guys. Oh, let's see. Two hundred eighty-five and thirty cents. No. Was that close? You're you're in the number. A dollar. Two hundred seventy-two. Yes. Point six. I mean, in six cents. Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. 
Yeah, it has a 270. How come I can't find it? My calculator kept on messing up. It, okay, it, it, I have another scenario for you guys. Uh, where in the world is the calendar? Watch here. I want you to. I want you guys to take this calendar, and we're going to go to the month of November. Let's see who all can get this first. No, I don't want that. Uh, huh? It's going to be some working out. No, I already figured it out, Mickey. No, no. You need to sit for this real quick. Hold on, we're almost there, Mikey. Okay, you ready? No. Wait, what? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to have another scenario for you. Give me a second. Y'all ready? Did you get uh, this written down? No, my yeah. I got it. I got mm -hmm. it. Not yet, mommy. You wrote that down, didn't you? Yeah, the math. What about this? No, not yet. I'm almost done. Okay, so you have. I'm done. I'm gonna make this easy. This doesn't always happen this way, cause sometimes things happen. Sometimes you get sick. Sometimes you have to call in to work. That means you're gonna miss money. That means your 276 is gonna go down. Immensely, because you're going to miss hours. That's why it's good to stay healthy. Take your vitamin C. You're going to be around people. Take your emergency. Uh, eat oranges. Eat healthy so that you don't have to miss days of work. If you miss days of work, your paycheck will be short. You will not be able to come up with your proper amount for your rent or other bills that you have to pay. Which means who? You start getting fees and fines, and you don't want to have fees and fines. That means they're adding money on top of how much you already owe. You understand that? Yeah. Hello? Y'all understand that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can't always depend on mama. What if mama don't have it? What if daddy don't have it that week or that month, okay? So you have to depend on yourself and the Lord. You have to pay your tithes. What does paying tithes have to do with making money? Anybody know? Yeah, 10%. Because if you give willfully and righteously to the Lord, the Lord will give, help you back. That's right. Your life will be blessed and not cursed. Your money is cursed if you make money and think that you can think of you first and not God. What happened to Cain and Abel? Oh, I know the story. I got my hand up. Oh, okay. So the story of Cain and Abel, it was a dark and stormy yeah, day. And they were given offerings. They were given offerings. Uh -huh. Abel gave his best lambs of fruit. Yes. yes. And Cain was like, so you know what? I'm going to give him my leftovers. Oh, my. This, this compost, these banana peels. Oh, yes, and that's his, what he uh, did. Half eaten tomatoes. Yes, he did. And uh, God accepted Cain's gift. He was like, uh -uh. a little child. Who's I mean, I'm sorry, not Cain. God accepted Abel's gift. Yes. He got the names mixed up. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, God accepted right. Abel's gift. He was uh -huh. like, Thank you, my child. I like this. I like this. I really do. Because you gave willingly and righteously oh, out of your heart. Because you love me, but Cain, mm. this is noodle butter right here. I ain't Ooh. accepting that. Oh, and what did Cain do? And Cain was jealous. He, he was, was jealous. mad. And so what he did, he's like, little brother, want to show me up? I'm going to annihilate him. So he took him out oh, into man. the field, and he slayed it in his brother. My Lord. And That's his blood awesome. cried out to the Lord. And Cain thought he was going to get smart and get away with it. My goodness. Am I not? I'm going to bludgeon death. And so and God he, was was cursed. he was cursed. He was cursed. Yes, he was. He was God took his kids. He was cursed. He a mark on his forehead. Ah, uh, yes. So let people know. Because uh, uh, he was yeah. like, this punishment is too much for me to bear, Lord. So God showed him a little bit. Little Just bit of a little bit. Uh -huh. He said, uh -huh. I'm going to put a mark on your forehead. Yes. Lord. And if anybody kill you, they will die once. My Lord. All right. Who All right. did Cain birth from his loins? No. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. What was his name? His name was, uh, I'm sorry. Taking the his name was not Zachariah. No. Um, his name, 
What did it start with? I know, I know his song. His song was how to such a Ah, Esau. No, no, not Esau. E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E Be yes. kind. <laughs> Please be respectful. I don't have. What does this mean? We almost done, baby. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Did you press what the button? We'll have to look that up. No. Can I find that? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Multiplication <laughs> queen. <laughs> so what is your answer, Makaya? Ten thousand. <laughs> Wait, a thousand eighty-two. One thousand forty-six. Who? 46. It's not, putting, it's not putting the 40 in there. Whenever they don't put the number oh, behind it, you know that it is. No, no. Uh, it says something behind it, but it's just putting a letter. No, that's a 40. Hey. So this is how much you make for the month. Write it down. Ouch. How much though? Right? Or, oh okay. God. How do you pay your rent? When you go to work and you see your check, and you make this much money per week. How do you use restraint to not go to the store and buy snacks when you don't need it because you have groceries in your home already? How do you not go and purchase what we junk, junk, unneeded things in the midst of the fact that you're going to have to go pay your rent on the first of the month? How? Yes. What are you going to do? So, basically, when you have the urge to spend, that's honestly 
not good. So you pray about it. You right. occupy yourself with prayer, or you read your word, or you slap, you, 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 you give yourself a whooping, uh, or you give yourself a whooping and say, you will not touch those car keys and go to the store. I understand. You give, give me some ideas on what we can do I'll put to... Okay, what? you can put it in the savings account, account, or what else? What you have, Maria? Right. What I would do personally, yes. mm -hmm. like either I, uh, yeah, or she said pray, or I go around other people to distract me from it. Mm -hmm. And I thought I just would turn my card off or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. I like those answers. We did a Bible study, we didn't get to finish it. It was a, uh, mm -hmm. those little plans in my, uh, you version thing talking about how your money is not just your own okay. how you uh don't have the right to just think you can uh freely i mean frivolously spend money like it has no purpose you are to give your money purpose so we figured out out of four fridays of the month you get paid one thousand dollars eight one thousand eighty two dollars and forty cents right okay. And we're trying to say, when you see a small amount like this, you know you have to pay certain things within your month. You have to pay for gas if you have a car. If you don't have a car, you have to pay for a bus fare, or you have to pay a Uber or Lyft fare. Depending your on your, the charges of the certain entity, you want to go with the best bargain. I found that Lyft was way cheaper and better to use than Uber. Uh, plus the Uber thing didn't let me put my card on there, so I can use it anyway. How do you keep yourself from spending in a world where spending is at your fingertips? You don't have to go to the store. You can just, uh, uh, oh, I got money in my account. Let me go buy Uber Eats, or let me go get DoorDash, or let me have them bring me some snacks from the 7-Eleven from DoorDash. Yes, Michael. Ride your bike. Ride your bike Spend. to take your mind out of spending. I mean, no. Oh, so oh, to save to from having to, to pay a bus fare. Well, that's if your job is in riding distance. Yeah, if it's otherwise, reason. there's like in the summer we don't have a public transportation, but we have a uh, private transportation, which is a nonprofit organization called the Oats, and they provide bus for the Lee Summit residents, where they'll take you anywhere in Lee Summit for a dollar fifty going and coming. You have to call them a day ahead, set your appointment on when you want to get picked up and dropped off, and they will come and get you. You have to be there or they will drive off. You call them too many times and don't come out, they'll stop letting you call them for services. If you're late too many times, every time they come and you're not ready and that bus has to tell his Dispatch, oh, they're always late, and I have other people I gotta pick up on time, they will stop coming to get you. Thanks, Tina. So, you, I'm trying to instill in you all that this right here is very tempting to, to just go, I want a hundred pair, dollar pair of Jordan. That's so stupid. Or I want, I want to go to the mall and go have some food at the food court. Or I want to go out to eat. Or I want to go to the arcade. This is not to be touched. What you do, what you can do, an option. If you have trouble with saving, saving or having willpower, they have a book on Amazon that you can purchase. It's a ring binder. And it has envelopes in it with little Ziploc. And you can write on there, and it, well, no, it has written on there, rent. So they'll have all these little envelopes. You have rent, they'll have a grocery run, food, whatever. They'll have uh, bills. You know, they might separate even uh, in categories of uh, electric, gas, water, whatever have you. They'll have one in there for fuel. Whatever you have to do to put your money in, organ to organize your money so you know what this money is for, so you just won't go out there giving it away to things that are temporal, temporary, do it. You are responsible for yourself when you're an adult. 
You should not have to come to anybody to ask them, can you do this, borrow this, and borrow that. If you do things the correct way, you won't have to borrow. You want to be what the word says called the lender. You want to be the lender. And we'll get more into that on another topic as well. But say you want to purchase a car. You really don't know if you should buy this car or not. You should go to the people who have been purchasing cars for years. Go to your parents. Go to someone who knows how to deal with salespeople who will not let you get taken advantage of. Good job. Who won't allow them to have you pay a down payment when it's against the law. They'll take it from you because they think that you don't know about it. But there's laws against that. You want to have somebody that will take you that knows whether that car is a limit or not, meaning if it's broken and they're trying to sell it to you. Huh? Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay, so another scenario we're going to do, I'm going to get out of here. Your first month rent is due. Okay? On the first, you owe $600. Oh, we owe it. Write that down. Write that down. You owe. How much? Okay, I'm gonna give you a scenario, or I'm gonna ask you the option. You have a cell phone. You have that nice, lovely touch screen. Do you have a forty-five dollar plan, or do you have a fifty dollar plan? Fifty dollar? No, forty dollar or fifty? Fifty dollar. Fifty dollars means you get unlimited talk, text, unlimited Wi-Fi, and a hotspot. $40, you just get the standard pocket edition. text standard until your next month. You don't have Wi Fi, a uh, hot spot. Which one are you going to pick? 40 or 50? Just get the 40 one. 20. You don't need okay. the hot spot. So, Do you need the hot spot? No. Depending on where you're at. Depending. But the thing is, are you going to be hooking up your tablet or, or mm -hmm. laptop up to a hot spot because you're not anywhere around internet? internet? Or are you going to be in your home where there's internet? Um, At home? It's so, to do house you house need house. a hot spot? No. So, no. how much do you want your phone thing. bill to be? Uh, that would be something you get for yourself after no. you're settled in. Yeah, and established. And good. had extra. And yes. Yeah. Oh, for self treat. So, do you want 40 or $50 phone bill? Then 40. Okay, $40 yeah. phone bill. Okay. Say your groceries, you're going to Aldi's because you know that you get the most bang for your buck there. And everything <clears throat> is inflated now. We're going to Aldi's. Okay, $200 for your grocery bill. Okay, I can get in the hand this amount. How much are you left with? Excuse me. Yes. You don't have to do that if you're just one person. $200? No. $200 nowadays. You can't, you can't get anything for $100. We leave out this, at a Walmart with five items, and it's $100. Yeah. Well, we don't never come out of Walmart with five items. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, me and your dad have gone to Walmart and come out with five to seven items, and we paid $100. Oh, yeah. That's what? It's $18 for bacon? Mm -hmm. Like Yeah. So that's how you messed up a dollar tree now. Or go to, to, to swap meat. Eighteen fifty seven for bacon. Oh my! Ain't nobody like no pig that Mom, much. You know that that clear egg. I, How much you left with people? You know that clear egg. Oh baby. Give me a second. So, so, so you got thousand dollars. Do you look for that? And I'm gonna give you this small scenario. This is an all the bills. Mom, you this pay. look for people. This it's is subtraction. subtraction. You are paying your rent mm -hmm. out of your monthly amount. Your monthly amount. You're gonna pay six hundred dollars. You're going to pay four forty dollars, and you're going to four forty. That's how much you left with. No. You know, subtracting big numbers. What I would do is I would add all of those up together Hun, and then subtract it from that. Yes, absolutely. So you can six, seven, eight, forty. So you said so seven forty. I said four forty. That was my answer. So this is subtraction. Six, oh, six, seven. Seven. No. Messed up in the one. 840, sorry. Mine. So you're subtracting. Minus. 
1,082 from 840. And truly, somewhere you might be paying taxes somewhere, so you're going to end up with some cents missing and other things. So again, like I said, I didn't add in your bills. I didn't add in your fuel or your transportation. I didn't add in, uh, I hope you guys do not get overtaken with apps and subscriptions. If you can find free TV, do not think that you have to be uh, getting Hulu, Hulu or I Netflix. I might only get like one subscription for right. that. You don't need a whole bunch of, because if you're looking at one, you're looking at all of them, really. Because most of them have the same things on them. It's better to get... Something Just that, like the fire stick, like a dad. Like you purchase the fire stick and you have people that know how to put shows on there. Wow, so let's see if you're right with Kaya. One, One fail. Two, three, four, Equals, you were correct, Makaya. How much money are we left with? 620? No, 200. So just out of these little bills, what? Two hundred forty-two. Out of these little bills right here, and this is not half of the thing that you have to pay in line. You better be careful with what you are paying for, what you are adding on, add-ons, uh, apps, dash in the door. You better be careful wow. not to use these items wow. unless you have it like that. Because what we don't do, what don't we do? Spend play with our money. Play with our money. We don't, we don't play, play about, about our, money. our money. Come on. Uh, we don't play about it. $1,000 minus $800 takes you down. What? Down. Oh my Lord. That's what we was doing? Yes, honey. I thought it was. Uh, well, you subtract each one. I was subtracting those. Jeez, I got stuck. Oh my gosh. I did it completely wrong, Ma. Ma. Oh, wow. I did it completely wrong. I put a subtraction symbol here, but I started multiplying. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was mine. I just realized it. I finished it. And my I told you what to do. This is not living. You know what? This is the government feel if I took their candy every day. They wouldn't like it, so stop taking our money. This is fourteen fifty an hour. I've not yet to get paid fourteen anything yet. That's hundred. I'm about to go into the trucking business or somebody business that's that's doing something out here. Okay, because life is life in right now. It is too expensive. And you won't be able to work part-time hours and have money. You are going to have to work a full-time job. Okay? So either you find a way Mom. to make your own, create your own business, where you can flood in cash, flood in income, or you find you you have to find yourself going to school so you can make your credentials high, so you can get paid the money that you're worth. You can't get paid thirty-two dollars, and you don't have any college backing. You don't have a degree behind your name, so it's not always easy. But if you take hard work and perseverance, you can get anywhere you want to be in life. Okay? Yeah. Well, you all did an awesome job today. Bless you. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for not playing. You guys have a great big mess to clean up there. They have a great big mess. Yeah. Um, we are going to fill out this check, and then we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys for looking in on a glance in the class. We hope you liked this lesson today. You guys have a great day. Have a great rest of your day. Happy homeschooling.